This Valentine's Day, the price of flowers is growing. I'm Laura Podesta with the reasons behind the surge and how you can save. Bonchette Jegla creates unique bouquets for people in the New York City area. Prices for roses and other flowers usually go up before Valentine's Day, but this year there could be some sticker shock. If you could ballpark how much they cost last year compared to this year? Um, about 20% more. She blames the pandemic for shutting down some flower producers and causing a supply squeeze. Right now, a lot of farms that we use for flowers, they're out of business. They're out of business. The flowers she can find cost more because shipping prices are soaring. The price went up high, the freight as well. People are buying Valentine gifts and they want heart-shaped boxes. At Lilac Chocolates, co-owner Anthony Cerrone says he's experiencing similar problems with packaging. The Valentine boxes, we got hit with 50% increase. And when we asked why, we were told it was 100% due to um, uh, container ship pricing, transportation costs. He's been forced to raise prices on some items. This box of truffles is $60. Last year, it sold for 48 bucks. And it's not just candy and flowers. Prices for jewelry and eating out are also higher this year. But that's not slowing spending. The National Retail Federation predicts the average American will shell out $175 for Valentine's Day. And we could see total spending reach almost $24 billion, uh, which would be the second highest in our survey's history. Experts suggest shopping early to get the best prices. I recommend them to order ahead of time. Bonchette says call ahead and work with a local florist. They can help pick a bouquet with a price tag that won't make your heart skip a beat. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York.